Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I have an unusual video for you because I've been experimenting with artificial intelligence. And, you know, I'm waiting for my companions to get ready so that we can go down to the ICE conference. I figured, you know something, let's give this a shot. And let's try out chat GPT to see, maybe you could use it for Biomed. I think so. It's interesting nonetheless. So let's go ahead and take a look. It gave me some really cool answers. All right, guys. So the first thing I asked ChatGPT, and this is at chat.openai.com. Um, then you register, and it'll send a code to your phone, etc. And once you get in, it just leaves this little bar at the bottom, and it says, ask me a question. So the first question I said is, what is the biomed passcode for GE patient monitors? And it says, as an AI language model, I don't have access to proprietary information such as passcodes for medical devices and information that could potentially harm patient safety or privacy. What an interesting answer. That is such a politically correct answer, but so correct in, just in general. How cool is that? Next question. How does pressure affect temperature in a steam sterilizer? I, I wasn't really expecting too much for this, but it gave me a pretty good synopsis. It says in steam sterilizers, pressure affects uh, the temperature at which water boils. In turn, affects the sterilization process. The relationship between pressure and temperature is described by the principles of thermodynamics, specifically the ideal gas law and the steam table, which gives me other information that I can use for more reference, which is so cool. And then it goes on for theory. It says as pressure increases, so does the boiling point of water. This means that at higher pressures, water can exist in a liquid state at temperature that would normally cause it to boil. Conversely, at lower pressures, water boils at a lower temperature. And it just goes on and on with this answer. And it gave me a very thorough answer. Now, if you were writing a paper on this, it basically gave you everything you need to come up with a whole entire paper. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to have some further research, but I mean... That is a very correct answer. My last question, I asked it, how do you calibrate a MedFusion 3500? And it, it started to give me the politically correct answer in the beginning. It says it requires special knowledge and training. It's important to follow manufacturer's instructions, yada, yada, yada. I thought, okay, that was going to be it. It was going to give me a garbage answer, and I was expecting that. And then it continued on. It actually gave me a process says, here's a good overview of the calibration process for MedFusion 3500. And you can see it goes through the self-test. It talks about the calibration kit. This is extremely thorough. I would say it's almost thorough enough to give yourself a, a real outline. And then down at the bottom, it says, once the pump has been sex successfully calibrated, remove the calibration kit, begin using the pump for patient care. And then the bottom line is what really got me. It's important to document the calibration process in the results for the pump's records and follow any additional protocols or requirements. That I might have expected. I was not expecting this. That is the perfect answer, guys. So I'm going to continue experimenting with this. I was not expecting to get such thorough and thought out answers from AI. To be honest, I was expecting more like it was going to search the internet kind of like a Google search and pull up maybe a checklist or something like that and give me verbatim off a checklist. But these seem to be conversational type answers, not answers that I would expect uh, from a computer. But they're very thorough, just the same. And they give me enough information to guide me towards the correct solution, which is the most important part. So anyway, guys, check out ChatGPT and try it out and just ask it general biomed questions. Um, maybe questions from a study guide or something like that and see how thorough the answers are. It's actually kind of amazing. And uh, I'm gonna continue and I might actually use this to help me write some of my videos and some of my future papers because if you knew the amount of time it takes for some of these videos to do the proper research and whatnot, this could actually dramatically decrease that, that time to do um, research and background information Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Try it out. Chat GPT at uh, chat.openai.com. Just register and go in. And uh, 
Let me know what you think.